Welcome to our homestead. Today we're going to show you how to hang a Larson Easy Hang storm door on a greenhouse. But there's a few small things that we need to modify in order to get the latch to work. So let's show you how to do that. So if you remember from our greenhouse construction videos, and if you haven't seen those, go check at the top of the screen. But we left the header off of where the door opening is on this end wall kit for our greenhouse. And that's because each door you buy, or each brand you buy, is a little bit different, so you want to get these set correctly. So our Larson Easy Hang door is 79 inches on the jams. And on the bottom there's the threshold which actually you can adjust between that 79 plus inches to 81 inches. So to make sure we have some good clearances we're going to set this one at 80 and a half inches. Just so we have a little play and adjustment on our uneven uh, ground here in the greenhouse. So what I've done is I've measured up 80 and a half inches from where I think is my high side on the bottom. And what I'm, what I'm going to do is, oh, I've got these quick clamps set at that 80 and a half inches. I'm going to set it on there and I need to level it out. It needs to be perfectly dead level for this door to operate properly. Once you've got it set dead level, screw in your header and then we're going to move on to cutting the plastic and inserting and measuring for the door. Now that we have that header on, what we're going to do now is use a razor blade and cut our opening in the side of our plastic. Now that's really easy to do. You come down from both corners of the header right to the center, about a foot below the center of your door opening. We're gonna wait to trim off the plastic until we have the door jams and door header in, and then we can trim it later. So it's no big deal to do that now. Let's go get this door out and show you how to do it. So there's three things I love about these Larson Easy Hang doors. They are very easy to hang, and that's no joke. They are just a little bit over a hundred bucks. So for the quality of this door, that is fantastic. And three, they're made in the USA. Let's open her up. Now, if you didn't do it already, when you put your greenhouse up and you made that opening on the end wall kit for your storm door, you really needed to understand the tolerances of your storm door ahead of time. Now, that end wall kit is mainly made for a 36 inch door. And on this little chart here, there is the tolerances for this door. So for no shims, for not needing to shim anything, for this Larson Easy Hang 36 inch door, you need an opening that's 35 and 7 eighths to 36 inches. If you're any bigger than that, you're gonna have to shim it. And if you're any smaller than that, you need to make the opening a little bit wider. Now in a metal frame end wall kit on a greenhouse, you could use wood as a shim, but having some small metal shims, or plastic shims actually, might be the way to go. The next thing you need to follow on the instructions are whether you want a right hand installation or a left hand installation. And that'll determine which side your hinge jam goes on. Now we're going to go set the hinge jam on the frame of the greenhouse end right there. We're just going to need one painted screw for that process. So for us we have a left hand opening and we want our hinge jam on the left side of our door opening here. What we're going to do is we're going to shove it all the way to the top till it touches. So up at the top here we've got this oblong shaped hole right here. What we're going to need to do first though is pull the plastic taut and we're going to make a mark in that oblong, that oval area, not in the round circle right here, and that'll show you in the instructions, but right dead center in that spot right there. And we are going to pre-drill using an eighth inch bit right in that spot right there. Now in that hole, we're going to insert our white colored screw right here. And our jam just hangs on there. So the screw head goes through the round portion. You'll scoot it over and then drop it down. When you drop it down a little bit right there, before we screw it in tight, that gives us the room for our door header here at the top. It drops it down about an eighth of an inch. Now we're gonna take our hinge jam back to our door and we're gonna attach it 
fully to the door itself. For the next part of the process, you want your door laying flat, or in our case, semi-flat. We've got it up on a two by four so we can screw in the hinges onto the door. If you have a pair of saw horses, that is better, but we don't right now. So the interior of the door is the side with the glass on the interior, so that's how you know. All right, first things first. The second screw on the end from the top of your door, we're gonna remove it. We can get, discard that screw. From here, we are going to hang on our hinged jam. Now you can see the weather stripping piece here on this part right here, and that will fit right against the back side of the door. So this is what it'll look like. You've got that unpainted screw in the second hole from the top of the door, and this is where we removed that screw that we can discard. That screw came out of that hole. This one goes in there with our hinge. And as you can see, when it, this folds up, it'll fold onto the door like that. From here, we are gonna drill pilot holes with an 1 8 inch drill bit, and we're gonna drill those through every single hole on our hinges and then attach it with the unpainted screws. So on our jams, we can add this threshold extension piece right here, this jam extension piece, which is down below the door. Just pop it on there and then adjust it out in the field to where you need it. So they call this easy hang because you can do it by yourself. So that screw that we put in the frame earlier is going to hook in to our hinge jam over here. So basically we're just going to open her up, align that hole, and slide it into place. That's not holding it for us so that we can screw in the rest of our screws, drill pilot holes and screw in the rest of our screws on the jam. So what we're gonna do first is start with the second one from the bottom and that'll give us a lot of holding power so that we can do the rest of them. And just remember to use the painted screws on the door jam in these positions. Well now comes the header or as Larson calls it, the drip cap. This is the part where everybody really seems to get uh, screwed up on or they have a lot of questions on. And it is super, super simple to put in. Essentially, you just slide it in and there's nothing more to it. And since we put that screw in to the oblong shape, made the hole in the center of that oblong shape right there, that hole, oblong hole, the door dropped down about a 16th of an inch. I think I said an eighth of an inch earlier, but it's actually a 16th 16th of an inch and that gives room for the drip cap header to slip right into it right there. So what you're going to do is just align it to the edge of the outside of your jam right there and screw it into place. That's all there is to it. Now of course make sure your plastic on your greenhouse is taut. Slip the drip cap header in there align it to the edge, drill your holes, screw it in, you're all set. And again, use the white painted screws. Now you can caulk on the top edge of this drip cap if you like. If it's on a house, I might do it. But on this greenhouse, it's not really necessary. It's at this point you can start trimming off the plastic if you desire. I usually leave about an inch or so. Now that we have our drip cap header in and we've got things attached on the other side with the hinges, we're going to close the door and see how our tolerances are and how our clearances are. For us, they look pretty good. Now, if you're wider than your opening, this is where you're going to have to shim this side. We're going to put this in to measure where we need to shim, if we need to shim. Slide it all the way up to the drip cap and hold it flat and flush to see if you need any shims. And in this case, our clearance is perfect. If you needed to shim, you'd obviously stick them back behind here or attach them to your frame. And then that would bring this jam 
toward the door if need be. Remember for this door, if you're shorter or smaller, you're going to have to move out your frame. And if you're a little bit wider, just shim it. You can go a quarter inch on each side. Now that we've determined it's gonna fit properly, we're gonna attach this the same way as we did the other ones. And if you want, you can use your quick clamps to help hold things in place for you. Okay, next thing, threshold on the bottom of the door. So our screw holes right here go to the inside of the door. We're just gonna slip it over, it's just plastic. We're just gonna slip it over the bottom of the door, get a line properly, and then use these tiny little unpainted screws to attach it through into the door. So just slide it up and down and adjust it as you need it to where that little rubber flap on the bottom is sealing the bottom of the door it'll be perfect. Be very careful not to over tighten these because the interior of the door is just press board. So just tighten it till it's just snug. That's it. Here's one of our last steps, which is putting on the door latch. They give you this little template to put around the door here and you just align it with what's on the template. So those are the holes you're gonna drill for your latch. Of course, this is the inside portion right here, and that's the portion we need to really measure out because that needs something to engage with right here. Now this piece right here is normally what the door will catch on, but as you can see, there's nothing to attach it to like you would on a wood framed home. So we need to get this piece aligned here so the latch engages with it. So what we've done, is we've cut a piece of angled aluminum. You can use whatever you want, but you're gonna need a piece of angle. And that way, we're gonna screw a couple of uh, self-tapping screws in here. We've marked where it needs to go. We've marked where we need to cut through and attach this strike plate, this catch latch right here. And that is how we are gonna engage our door latch you have to have this extra piece that you can adjust and come out to catch it. Because this sits an inch and three sixteenths away from the edge of the door, the door. So that's actually fairly far. So this needs to be deep enough. This piece needs to be big enough. This piece of angle, whatever you use, this was scrap for us, to be able to catch or hold this so it catches the latch. So we've got our little bracket made here. Now I need to attach it to the frame. And like I said, I'm just gonna use a couple of self-tapping screws, the same ones that I used to build the greenhouse. You can see I've got it marked out and held in place here exactly where it needs to be in relation to where our template is on our door. Now you can see our, our modified little bracket here with our catch aligns with our template and our door handle. So let's now show you how to put the door handle on. Okay y'all, this one is super simple. You've already taped to the door your template for where everything is located for the handle. And we've got the strike plate located properly over there, the catch. And what we're gonna do is just drill through these three points that are indicated on here with a 5 16 inch drill bit. Now the center one, you're gonna ream out a little bit and deburr because that's where the spindle goes through to operate the handle from one side to the other. Drill through from the back of your door, or the inside of your door, outward. You might need to use your knife to get rid of those plastic burrs that are around the edge of the hole. Okay, you've got two black machine screws. Those go through the inside portion of the handle here and they'll connect through the door into the outside portion of the handle. So we have our outside handle push button here. We've got our spindle and our spring and that sets right in the center. I don't drop everything. Right in the center of the button. And then we're gonna come through from the outside and push that through. So we've got the spindle sticking through right here. We have our handle here and the spindle fits right into it. Then we're gonna use the machine screws to connect everything. Make sure the door operates by pushing on it. 
we're gonna use this other black wood screw on the outside of the handle on the bottom just to hold the bottom of the handle. So now that everything is together, you can trim off this side of the plastic on this part of the door. It was easier to just leave it on earlier so we can really pull on it and get it taut while we were putting on this jam. Now that's how you hang a Larson Easy Hang Westview storm door on a greenhouse with metal frame. Now something that there isn't room for is the closer. And I do not want a closer on my greenhouse, usually because I leave the door all the way open and get breeze through there in the summertime. It's really unnecessary for the greenhouse application. There's some other videos out there that show you how to put the closer on, but it's really, really simple, just like the door handle. We have a lot of helpful how-to and do-it-yourself videos on our channel. So I want you to subscribe, click that notification bell, and stay with us here permanently. Now you can go click on these videos right here, which shows you the entire series of how to put together this Grower Solution Quonset Hut by yourself. Have a great day. We'll see you on our next video. Bye.